Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested, and today I have a really fun and novel show and tell for you. Just about one year ago, I introduced you guys to the Tiny TV. Uh, it's been out for a while from a company that's also been around for a while now, Tiny Circuits. They make a Arduino-compatible platform, a board, that is in a really small form factor and a series of shields and add-ons that are stackable so you can have everything from an OLED display to speakers to storage to sensors to radios to power in a modular and compact form factor for a variety of projects. And they also make uh, kits that are uh, ready to go out of the box uh, with some fun functionality, one of which is this tiny TV, which has their tiny OLED screen, about a one inch in a diameter or diagonal uh, screen with a resolution of 96 pixels by 64 pixels. A really novel little product uh, that has just a, such so much charming functionality. It works with a uh, wireless remote, uh, has buttons on the sides that you can press to change channels and a really cool piece of software that allows you to simulate the, uh, that, the channel surfing. So you can load up these videos that you process on your desktop, import an MP4 file, you know, resize it, compress it, you load it onto a, a micro SD card that you plug in from the bottom, uh, and then you can actually switch channels while in the background uh, the processor runs a clock. So it, when you change from one video file to the next video file, it actually, uh, it jumps to the timestamp uh, where you uh, were previously. So it's, you, it's not starting videos from scratch. It's, the idea is that it, it simulates the idea that all these videos stored on the micro SD card are playing at the same time, really clever way. Well, today, Tiny Circuits is launching a Kickstarter for two new Tiny TV products, and they sent them over for me to check out. So let's take a look at the Tiny TV 2. And yes, it's still in this retro TV form factor in a uh, center nylon chassis here in a cabinet, slightly bigger cabinet, same size display, but the display here has a much larger resolution. The resolution now is 216 pixels by 135 pixels tall. And the image is, as you can see, so much clearer. A uh, bunch of other improvements as well. On the chassis here on the cabinet, there are now rotary dials that you can turn for adjusting your channels as well as your volume. In the back, you have the speaker grills, an embedded speaker as well, and also now USB-C for charging as well as for uh, storage. No longer are you swapping in a micro SD card. Uh, there's built-in eight gigabytes of storage and with their updated software, the video files that you're converting are standard AVI files that can really drag and drop from your desktop right onto the Tiny TV 2. Uh, they have software that lets you resize and compress them and then compress to about 1.5 megabits uh, video so you can store quite a bit of video in this new resolution on the Tiny TV 2. Additionally, something, not only have they gone slightly bigger and higher resolution, they also have gone smaller as well. And so this is the Tiny TV Mini. Yes, both Tiny and Mini. And this is one of those things that they, they did it because they could, because we have the technology. So the screen is smaller now at just over half an inch in diagonal, and the resolution is 64 pixels by 64 pixels, uh, which means that yes, you can see the pixels, but it's amazing that this display is even smaller than the size of a micro SD card. A lot of the same features as the other tiny TVs, works with that wireless remote, has buttons here on the top for changing your channels, for your volume controls, speaker in the back, and like the tiny TV too, also onboard eight gigs of storage, 
uh, charging over uh, USB-C as well as drag and drop those AVI files that you convert on your desktop software directly on the Tiny TV Mini. Maybe not a practical device, certainly a novel and charming device, but what gets me excited is the opportunity for Tiny Circuits in the future to perhaps release these displays like their Tiny Screen Plus in a all-in-one board package with the display, the processor, and the USB-C port uh, in not necessarily a TV cabinet chassis, but something that you could design and 3D print your own housing for, for your own model making projects, your own miniatures, the sky really is the limit. And with the Tiny TV Mini here, what I love is that it's a square aspect ratio for the first time, which offers, I think, more opportunity to put it in some novel use cases. I'm thinking, I'm looking actually at a upcoming model kit of Kane from Robocop 2. And if you remember, he has his face that comes out of his head is this display with an animated CG face. That could be really cool at, if the scale works out with uh, the tiny screen, whatever version of the tiny screen comes out in the future. Both the Tiny TV 2 and the Tiny TV Mini are launching today on Kickstarter, and I'll have links in the be uh, description below where you can check that out. Uh, the Tiny TV, the first gen, still available right now, still a really fun kit, uh, and again, thank you to Tiny Circuits for making awesome products and for sending me these samples to check out. All right, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.